What is up guys? How are all your mornings going? Hopefully they're going amazing. So we woke up this morning, me and Alec, and we looked outside and it was snowing. So we decided to head out and try to find a parking lot that has a little bit of snow on it so we can get some drifts. I asked uh, Orion and Jonah if the snow stuck to the roads, but apparently the roads are already plowed in uh, ice. So hopefully we can get lucky and find a parking lot. Someone's plowing already. Hopefully the garbage bag window on the 240 held up, but I'm gonna go ahead and guess that it didn't. And it might have a little bit of snow in it, but it's not that big of a deal, I guess. I have to clean up the Durango a little bit. And the window held up too, so I got no snow in there. So much grip though. Let's go over here where there's no, uh, no tire tracks yet. Got a couple skids in with the Durango. It was kind of grippy, there wasn't enough snow. It definitely wasn't packed a lot, so it was uh, a lot of dry spots. But we got some Taco Bell, we're gonna chill, eat some Taco Bell, probably turn on a set of Corsa. And uh, not exactly sure what we're gonna do today. Uh, I know my alternator is either gonna be here today or tomorrow, so hopefully if it's here today, we can put that in and get the car running. If not, no biggie, we can just do it tomorrow, so. Yeah. Orion just told me that he got a notification saying that a package has been delivered, so hopefully it's the e-brake. I'm gonna quickly run down to the main office, check if the package is there, and then check the mailbox to see if we have a pink slip. If it is a pink slip, run to the P.O. box, pick up the handbrake, because we've been dying for a handbrake, and it's just gonna be nice, and I was doing a whole bunch of uh, research on it, and it looks like a good, good handbrake. Progressive is the word I'm looking for. It's very progressive. It's not just one click and lock. It's progressive, progressive so you can pull it, Pull it, slow down, slow down, and then it will lock. So I'm gonna run down, see if it's there, hopefully it is. Don't worry, you will be driven soon. My alternator should be here soon, I'm waiting for it. It's in Willington, Connecticut. Right? We got it guys, we got the goddamn handbrake. I'm not sure what this package is. Wrapping some late, Chris late Christmas gifts. Uh, I got Lisa a gift, but just didn't have time to run to the P.O. box, so it's been sitting there for like the past like five days. And then got some sweaters that gotta wrap, so. Bang this out really quick. Got all those wrapped. Orion said he'll be back in like 20 minutes and then we can finally unbox this. And uh, the video will be up on the gaming channel. I'll leave a link to the gaming channel down in the description. So definitely go check that out because it's gonna be a sick unboxing. Orion just pulled up and uh, we're about to open this Fanatec Club Sport Handbrake. Uh, for some reason it comes with a weird adapter. Like I'm pretty sure the adapter is literally like an ethernet cord or a cord or a phone cord. And you have to buy the adapter to adapt that to a USB so. I'm gonna open this baby. It's pretty heavy, so as you guys know, we judge the quality and everything on the weight. <laughs> Club Sport handbrake, Fanatec tape all over it. Looks pretty cool. Looks legit. Okay, let me, uh, yeah, just just start slicing and dicing. Oh, that is sleek, Oh my baby. god. Are we fucking putting this in a real car? Or are we putting this on a simulator? Jesus Christ. Look at this thing. Look at this box. It's shiny, dude. You can see the camera in the box. Can Do you see, see that? Let's get this baby unlocked. This is awesome. I think I'm more we've, excited. We've literally been this. dreaming of this. Remember? Got, oh yeah. Remember since the OG? Oh, no, yeah. since my mom's basement. Oh yeah, true. Remember right. when we, we had? Yeah. Right. Yeah. This is a, a long time waiting. All right, here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold the right, box. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna let Cam out. do the honors here. Right, here we go. Get both angles nice here. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no. 
you guys have no idea, I've seen every single review on this handbrake and I've been waiting for so long. All right, here's the adapter. This is what I was talking about, that you need to run the, uh, on the PC. Yeah, you're right, it was Ethernet. Yeah, look it. Here. looks Ethernet. It's I'll show you guys. USB to like Ethernet. It goes looking. like from 3.5 millimeter aux. Fanatec. 3.5 millimeter aux oh to Ethernet right here. Dude, that looks like a sword in there. Dude, that looks good ass quality. Let's get It's so he dude. Is it heavy as the, the mat here? Let me, see it. Uh, let me Oh yeah. Oh my god, dude. We should mount it like this no, though, we... so that you pull it like I'm pretty sure you can take this off. You, you and can it. on the website it says you can have it in any orientation wow. you'd like. That's and it's it's progressive too, so it's not one click lock. Yeah, it's, it's like, like you pull, if you pull, pull it halfway, pull slow, you're slow, gonna slow, slow the car and down. Then yank yeah. it. So a while back, when me, Orion, and Brendan went to New York, uh, usually I use my GPS on avoid all tolls. And unfortunately, on the way back, I uh, I'd like to, I just it passed my mind, it slipped it, and I accidentally had to go through a toll. And I told the toll officer, you know, I don't have any money, said so that's okay. They will mail you a check to pay the toll fee, the toll fee, which was like six dollars, something like that, 15 bucks, and I just got the notice today, and it said 65 dollars, so I called the office, they said they couldn't dispute it over the phone, so I had to write it in paper, saying, or stating that when I went through the toll, uh, you know, I respectfully told the officer that I don't have money, he said it's okay, he'll send you a check for 15, the toll fee, like I said, the toll fee, which is 15 dollars, not 65, so now I had to write this down, have to go to the post office, mail this back in and then wait for the resolution and hopefully they will waive the $50 extra fee. So I gotta go put this in the envelope now and then take a trip to the P.O. Box and mail it off. See that guys? Delivered, my alternator is here. Just arrived in Wallingford, gonna quickly stop at Lowe's so we can grab some bolts for the handbrake right there then we're gonna head to the shop and then make the mount. Uh, we're gonna need to get three bolts to mount that to the mount and then we need bolts to mount the mount to the, the table, table, if that made any sense. Got all the bolts we need. Uh, oh. The these the bolts that go into the uh, handbrake itself were M6s. M6 1.0s. And then to mount the mount to the table, we're using M8s. So I think we have all the hardware we need. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna head to the shop and actually make the mount. Got the first plate. That's the one that's gonna bolt to the handbrake, as Orion is demonstrating right now. And I'm making the bottom plate that's going to mount to our desk, which is gonna be welded to that. So I'm gonna throw that out now. So there's the basic shape of the mount itself. This side goes mounts to the uh, the handbrake, wherever it is, and then this one mounts to the table. Right now I'm just making a piece to go down from the top piece down there, because I know we're gonna be ripping it hard, and I don't want this to flex and bend, so this is gonna go right in the center and prevent it from flexing. Here is the final construction of the mount itself. Just had to bore these three holes out, so basically that's what it's gonna look like, and then this will get bolted to the table. I made this little brace, like I said, so it doesn't flex, and Orion's gonna bolt it permanently right now, and then we'll head back and uh, rip it, dude. And rip it exactly. I love how a set of Corsa has a built-in handbrake like yeah. feature in yeah. the game already, yeah. so there's no For like handbrakes like yeah, this. Exactly, like you don't have to X pattern it yeah, or anything exactly. stupid like that. Out here, dude. Deluxe Italian stuff from Cumbies. The best stuff you can get on the market. There she is guys, for 20 minutes, 30 minutes at the shop, and scrap metal and a couple nuts and bolts, this mount came out really, really, really legit looking. We had to drill one more extra hole because the mount, or the, uh, the plug for the actual, uh, the handbrake itself was under it, so we had to drill a hole so we can plug it in, and then that runs along into the adapter that you have to get into the PC. And it looks like it's all set up because I plugged it in and nothing came up, so hop in a set of course and see if it works or not. After hours and hours trying to figure this goddamn handbrake out, like we got it mounted and everything and it's good, 
after hours of trying to figure out the settings and where to find the settings, where to find the uh, the firmware, the drivers, and all that. Literally every single YouTube video we watched, read all the comments, and we finally, finally figured it out. We literally, I, I can't count how many times I unplugged it and plugged it back into different USB ports, but it's finally working. It feels really good. The mount is good. Uh, the wires ran really good. It's kind of tight. We can probably fix that up a bit, but she's finally working. Take a look. Oh my. <laughs> I'm really, really proud of this mount as well. It came out really, really good. Yeah, did you actually like? You made a very good. You made something that you could produce and sell. Definitely. There you have it, guys. It's awesome. Oh Varengo. I don't even know. Or Varengo. 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 But it looks like Orion was fucking having the time of his life on this map. So. It was so fun, dude. It was. So, it was because it's so realistic. Yeah, dude. This e-brake fucking. Once the tires are warmed up, you're golden. That about wraps up tonight's vlog, guys. If you guys enjoyed, definitely go down to the comment section. Leave some feedback. Leave a like if you liked it. Leave a like if you didn't like it. And I will catch you guys tomorrow, as always.